Hello everyone, this is Magen for you. Now here in the desert in Dubai at the moment it's 45 degrees and maybe you ask yourself the question what is the best summer fragrance in this hot weather and let me try it out for you. There are certain fragrances which helps you just to stay cool and inside there are some ingredients which I want to show you right now. Before we now start please make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel. This would make me very happy and right now we start with the first fragrance. My first fragrance which I want to show you is from Histoire de Parfum, Patchouli Noir. This ingredients for myself, I always use it in this kind of tropical environment. It's very uh, kind of dry, earthy, and it helps you to just be relaxed, stay cool. Inside here we have patchouli, cardamom, a little bit of leather and vanille at the end. It's long lasting forever. It's a really dry patchouli. I would suggest you to try it at first. We have also the small tester bottles for 35 euro or 100 euro and this full bottle cost 165 euro. A lot of fragrances are using patchouli as a side note. Here we have it as a main note. So just remember, try it out first. It's very unique and if you don't know pure patchouli, then uh, maybe it's a little bit unusual for you. But this one would be my first suggestion. If you are going on a vacation to a really hot country, then I would use this one for sure. We just needed to change the location. First we shoot down there, but the camera overheated and it was just too hot. Then now we are here at the next spot next to our pool and I have for you here with me the second scent which I release, Orange Flamingo. This one I wanted to create a fragrance which smells like your fresh washed cotton sheets with a hint of orange. It's a very cool fragrance uh, with an oil percentage of 40%. It's very long lasting on the other hand very fresh. And this was my idea to combine it. You have in here, like I said, orange, very highly concentrated. And uh, to be honest, when I show people a tiger and this one, then they always prefer this one. It's a little bit more easy to wear, I would say, and more conventional. At the end, you will not find a fragrance in this high concentrated form. I'm pretty sure you will like it. In case you're looking for a summer fragrance, maybe this one is the choice and uh, the release is pretty soon. As a next stop in my hand is this kind of emerald green looking bottle, Lorenzo Villaresi Yerba Mate. And the color represents everything what is inside here. You have green tea, green leaves and all these fresh vetiver notes. Yeah, in case you are working, let's say in an office where you need to go outside in the summer, have contact with clients, this is the perfect scent. I showed to you on Instagram often before, Yerba Mate is just an English gentleman's club, very fresh and clean but not in the way like with citrus based notes. No, in here you have this mint and all this green kind of flavors. Very nice fragrance, one of my favorites one, not so expensive with 80 euro. And in this environment, if you need a fragrance which keeps your head cool, check out this one, always fresh, clean and not like just showered. It's a really elegant fragrance, my choice for this summer. I really love this one, so check it out if you're interested in the perfect summer scent. Right now in front of me are the last two scents I would recommend for summer and hot weather. At first I have with me from the Sea Star collection Tiziana Terenzi Orsa. So in here you have a real rich coconut, apple, mandarin kind of fusion and all this gives you a fresh and kind of fruity, a little bit of sweetness fragrance for you. Just to explain you the name, Orsa means you set it against the wind. So it's kind of challenging task. The same they did in here for this fragrance. It is a sweet and fresh mix of ingredients. And in case you like Kirk and Herba Pura, this one is a safe call. And look at the bottle, yeah. Beautiful, made from Tiziana Terenzi. Unfortunately, it's a little bit more expensive, but you will get a lot of fun with this one. And now the last fragrance is Pomelo Sorrento from Gritti. I don't talk a lot about this brand, but we have here the most sold summer fragrance of last year. This one is same like the bottle you can see. It is a, a typical Italian fragrance mix of vetiver, green leaves, green tea. You have in here also a little bit of grapefruit. The idea summer fragrance. Very easy one to use. It applies to men and women, although I would prefer it as a man fragrance and a beautiful scent for the office as well. So in case you don't like this English kind of way, which applies to Yerba Mate with a little bit of mint, then this one with citrus notes is the perfect one for 165 euro, long lasting Italian fragrance. And man, you, if, I mean, if you see the bottle, you can directly tell that it's the perfect 
summer fragrance. In case you are interested in one of the scents I just showed you, just go on the website or check out the description below. I hope you liked that video. If so, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and then I see you guys next time. Bye bye.